Welcome to the video tutorials of Mikanis Miller. In this video we will explain why a hurricane rotates in a counterclockwise direction in the northern hemisphere. When you research the subject on Google, you will find a number of sites with incorrect information, but there are some good sites which describe the subject using the Coriolis effect. However, Saying that a hurricane rotates due to the Coriolis effect is like saying that you are not educated well enough to understand this subject. I have studied this subject and it was hard for me to understand it, let alone visualize it. So I will try using a basic explanation to demonstrate this concept. If you are familiar with high school level physics you can understand it. Hurricanes rotate in a certain direction due to three factors. The first is that the Earth is a spherical object, the second is that the Earth rotates around its axis and the third is that hot moist air rises in the atmosphere. Let's start with a couple of sharpshooters trying to hit a target in such a way that they don't take into account the motion of target or their own motion. They shoot at the target as if it were stationary. We will start from a simple case and progressively advance to more complex cases to demonstrate the link between the motion of the bullets and the hurricane. During the presentation we will use small red, green, yellow and purple circles. They represent respectively the target, the bullets, the hunters and the position of the hunter when the rifle is first fired. The four characters N, E, S and W will be used to represent north, east, south and west of the target. Let's start with a simple case where two sharpshooters located at fixed locations to the north and south are firing at a fixed target. They are located the same distance from the target, but on opposite sides of it. If both shooters fire exactly at the same time, they would hit the target simultaneously. Now assume that both the target and the shooters are moving toward the east with a uniform speed and they fire at the same time. Again, they will hit the target asimultaneously. So far so good. The sharpshooters did not miss their target. What will happen if the speed of the target and the shooters is different? Assume that the speed of the north shooter, south shooter, and target are respectively 10, 30 and 20. The north shooter is moving three times slower than the south shooter and the target is moving with the average speed of the north and south shooters. As the expression goes, it is harder to hit a moving target. This is compounded by the motion of the shooters. Since we instructed the shooters that they should not take into account the motion of the target they will aim straight at the target when they fire. As you can see, they both will miss the target. While the faster moving shooter's bullet pass to the east of the target, the slower moving shooter's bullet will pass to the west of the target. However, both bullets will reach the target position line at the same time. Let's ratchet up the complexity. Instead of moving on parallel lines, assume that the target and shooters are located on a giant disc which rotates with a uniform speed. In this case the target and shooters are rotating on the disc, but the bullets will move on a straight line as soon as they leave the nozzle of the rifle. This straight line is a combination of the two motions of the bullet. The first is a straight line toward the target which is initiated by the gunpowder in the rifle. The second straight line is perpendicular to the first one, which is initiated by the rotating disc. What will a stationary observer see when the north and south shooter fire their rifle? Since the north shooter is on the slower speed circle, an observer thinks that the north shooter is aiming at the back of the target. On the other hand, the south shooter is moving faster and the observer thinks that the shooter is aiming at the front of the target. Both shooters will miss their target. This might seem similar to the previous case, however there is a small difference that you may not notice. The target location is slowly shifting toward the north with respect to the bullets. This allows the bullet coming from the north to reach the target sooner than the one coming from the south. This will have a very important effect on the dynamics of the hurricane that we are going to describe later. You observed that when two shooters fire from the north and south of the target, 
the bullets goes to different sides of the target. But do you know what this observation has to do with a hurricane? Okay then, let's put 8 equally spaced sharpshooters all around the target on the uniform rotating disc and observe the motion of the bullets. Notice the effect that the counterclockwise rotation has on the bullets. Notice also that while yellow circles are rotating with the disc, purple circles are moving on straight lines tangent to the circle when the bullets fired. Do you understand where I am heading? Now imagine a location in the Atlantic Ocean where the moist hot air is rising and the air all around this point is rushing in to fill this volume. Since the Earth looks like a giant disk from above, all the air particles are moving with different speeds eastward on this disk, but they move with a uniform speed toward the eye of the storm, just like the sharpshooter's bullets. The combined effect of these movements creates a counterclockwise rotating mass of air and moisture that we call a hurricane. In the next video we will explain why hurricanes always move westward. Thank you for watching our videos.